Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. So today's video I am very excited about. I have become a little bit obsessed collecting Tree Hut products. I have a ton of scrubs here to share with you, as well as some other Tree Hut products that I have recently been picking up. I've been getting really lucky at places like Ross and TJ Maxx. If you guys love Tree Hut products as well, I definitely recommend checking those stores out because you can find some hidden gems in there like I have. So majority of my collection consists of these scrubs. That is my favorite. I mean, I think that's what everyone loves the most about Tree Hut. I've been using Tree Hut scrubs for a couple years now, but it just wasn't up until maybe the past few months that I really started to collect them. Tree Hut does release like new scents throughout the year so it's just fun to me to collect them and I really enjoy them. I love using them in the shower. I'm going to go through everything that I have here in my collection. I'm not going to spend too much time on each product but I'll just kind of give you a description of the scent and you know just some of my favorite products so i'm going to start off with the scrubs because that's what i have the most of so this one is the bohemian escape this is the turmeric scrub i have had my eye on this one for a little while i just thought it smelled really good whenever i smelled it in the store the keynotes are bamboo water wild seagrass and coconut milk this one to me is like a very relaxing kind of tropical scent I do really like this one. I haven't had a chance to use it yet. One thing about the tree cut scrubs that I will say is sometimes they don't really smell like much of anything out of the tub, but once you actually get them into the shower is when those scent notes really start to come out. This is one that was very soft. I almost ended up taking it back and I'm so happy I didn't. This is Sugared Fantasy. First of all, the color is beautiful. It's just this nice like bright teal color. So this is actually like a very sweet kind of fruity juicy scent. I was expecting something like a little bit more like cotton candy like for some reason. The keynotes are blackberry, vanilla, and jasmine. I would say this just basically smells like a very sugary berry scent. You know it's a very soft scent but I promise you once you start using it in the shower it is just a lot sweeter. You can really pick up on those more berry notes. This next one is brown sugar. I actually ended up finding this one online. If you go on walmart.com, you can find a lot of like kind of more hard to find tree hut products and they usually are a pretty good price. So I ended up ordering brown sugar just because it sounded so good and I love like sugary warm scents. So unfortunately I don't have the scent notes for this one, but it does say it's made with shea butter, raw brown sugar, and pistachio oil. Mm, it smells so good to me. I love these like sweet cookie scents. Like if you love those really sweet gourmand cookie scented products, you will really like this one. I recently got some new like cookie scented bath products and this is going to pair perfectly with that. So can't wait to use that one in the shower. So this one is Moroccan Rose. This is one of their oldest scents. I mean, this one you can always find at Ulta, at Walmart, and they have other products in the scent as well. I've actually gone through a couple of these before I actually started collecting Tree Hut products, and it's just a classic rose scent. It's a little bit more of like a mature scent compared to some of the other ones. Some of the other ones can be like more candy-like, more fruity. This one is definitely like more floral, but I do actually like Moroccan Rose. Um, I have a couple other Tree Hut products in the scent as well. So this is like a more warm floral scent. The keynotes are a bergamot, tea rose, and amber. It's just like a very fresh rose scent. If you like rose scented products, you will like this one. So this is a new one for me, and this one came out not too long ago. I've really been wanting to pick up green tea. I don't know why lately I've just been really wanting that one in my collection. I passed it up like several times and now that I want it, of course, it's like sold out in most of the Ultas near me, but I finally ended up picking up lavender. I mean, first of all, the color is beautiful and this is just a really nice lavender scent. This has shea butter, lavender, and vanilla. This has keynotes of calming lavender, creamy vanilla, and coconut milk. You know, I do like lavender scents. I'm not crazy about it, but... This one is really nice, and my boyfriend really liked this one as well. There were a couple in here that he picked out the last time we were in Ulta, and I love when the Tree Hut scrubs are brand new, like that swirl. I don't even want to mess it up. It just looks so pretty. This next one is a newer scent that they recently came back with. I believe this was originally a holiday scent, and this is pink champagne. So this is definitely more of that fizzy type of bubbly scent. The keynotes are pomegranate, sweet peach, and fig. I've really been loving peach scents lately, and 
to be honest, I'm not really someone who uh, really enjoys a lot of champagne scents. So I was kind of nervous to smell this and see if I was gonna like it or not just because I ended up ordering it online before ever smelling it. But it really does smell very good. It's not like super bubbly. Sometimes like these really like champagne-y bubbly scents can kind of give me a headache. This one doesn't do that and especially you don't mind it in like a bath product just because the scent doesn't linger on you too, too long. Now this one, this one is one of my favorites. It's definitely in my top five. This is Tropic Glow. This is one of their newer scents as well. This is actually a firming sugar scrub. This might be one that I need to order a backup in just because I'm not sure how long this is gonna be out. So, so good. If you like the Boom Boom Cream, you 100% need this. I know a lot of people compare this scent to that and it really is very similar. It's so nice in the shower. It's not like a tropical fruity scent. It smells like it has more of those gourmand notes in there. If you like the Boom Boom Cream, I'm sure you will like this. The keynotes are almond, golden amber, and Australian sandalwood. I mean, some of my favorite notes in here. It just smells so good. It's perfect for the summertime and it smells even better in the shower. It's just such a strong scent. Next, I have Coco Colada, which I'm not someone who's really into like pina colada scents, but I decided to pick it up anyways and just try it out. This has shea butter, pineapple, and coconut. It smells just like a pina colada. So the keynotes are coconut, pineapple, and coconut milk. I mean, that's exactly what it smells like. Like I said, it's not really my favorite scent, but I figured every now and then I might be in the mood for something a little bit more fruity. I do really love coconut scents, so that's why I ended up picking it up. Now, another new summer scent, this is watermelon. You know, I was kind of putting off buying this one because I'm not too crazy about watermelon scents. I think I'm slowly kind of getting into them, but I just couldn't resist. I mean, the packaging for one is so cute. It's like this nice bright pink watermelon shade and it has like little black flakes in here to like resemble actual watermelon seeds. So this is made with shea butter, watermelon, and vegan collagen. I didn't know that. So this has keynotes of watermelon, lemon zest, and cotton candy. It's a very fruity, like watermelon scent. It almost smells like a watermelon gummy or like some type of watermelon candy. The more I smell it, the more the scent grows on me. Especially if you like watermelon scents, if you like these super sweet fruity scents, you will love this one. And I mean, just look at that. That looks like an actual like watermelon slush. Now, speaking of very sweet scents, I ended up picking up Cotton Candy. This is one of their older scents, I believe, or at least it's been around for a while. The keynotes are sponge sugar, strawberry, and sweet cream. So it's just like a very sweet scent all around. Almost kind of smells like a strawberry bubble gum. Out of the tub, it kind of reminds me of this like rinse that the dentist used to give me as a kid. And it was like strawberry flavored. I don't know what it was called, but that's what this reminds me of. It's like a very sweet strawberry scent. I also have coconut lime. Coconut lime is another one of their older scents. Like you can find this everywhere, just like Moroccan Rose. They also have other products in the coconut lime scent. I've gone through a couple of these as well before I started collecting Tree Hut products. So I do like this scent. Um, I haven't had it in a while, so I recently picked it up again. It's just this really nice mix of like lime and coconut. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I can definitely pair this with the coconut lime scent from Bath & Body Works. I'm sure those two would be really nice together. This has keynotes of palm leaf, lime, and coconut. I mean, basically the name speaks for itself. It smells just like coconut lime. Compared to something like the coconut lime from Bath & Body Works, I smell more of the lime in that one. Like it kind of has more of that zesty lime. Like you actually just like cut open a lime and like the lime peel. This is a little bit more sweeter because you definitely can smell the coconut. Another one of my favorites. This might be one of my top favorite scents and I'm so sad because I think it's limited edition and I can't find it anywhere anymore. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. This is a lemon blueberry tart. I am someone who loves lemon scents. I love blueberry scents. I love like sweet gourmand scents. And this is like everything all in one. This just smells like a blueberry muffin or like a blueberry scone with like lemon icing. Hopefully they bring it back at some point because I would love to get a backup of this one. It just smells so good. I love using that one in the shower and pairing it with like other lemon scents. I ended up picking up Tahitian Vanilla Bean. I ordered this one online. I'd actually never smelt it in the store. This is made with shea butter, vanilla extract, and manoi oil. You know, actually before reading that, I thought it smelled just like vanilla extract. This is more of like a floral vanilla. You have keynotes of toasted vanilla, gardenia, and suede. 
I do feel like it's a little bit sweeter at the shower, but I was just hoping for something like a super sweet vanilla scent. But I love vanilla scents, so I'm still gonna continue to use this one. I do like it. I just hope that one day they really come out with like a super sweet vanilla scent. Now this one actually smells like vanilla to me as well. This is a frosted sugar cookie. I used this one in the shower the other day and you really pick up more on that vanilla note in here. It has key notes of powdered sugar, whipped buttercream frosting, and vanilla bean. It's just like a very like warm, sweet, yummy scent. It smells really good in the shower. Like I said, I'm getting into more of these like cookie scents. It's gonna be so nice to use, especially in the fall. I hauled this one not too long ago and I'm so happy I ended up picking it up. This is Sunkissed Sands. It also says White Clay. I don't have the scent notes for this one, but this is like a nice summery scent. Like it's not really like tropical or fruity. I wish I kind of knew what was in this. Whatever it is, I really like this scent. I picked this one up not too long ago though, so you might still be able to find it in stores. It's just no longer on their website. I have another affirming sugar scrub. This is the Mocha and Coffee Bean scent. I've really been getting into more of these coffee scents lately. It smells like freshly brewed coffee. So this has keynotes of red berry, vanilla, and brown sugar. I don't know where that red berry note is in this. All I smell is coffee. It's not even like a very sweet coffee scent. This paired with like the OGX coconut coffee body wash, so good. I don't know why I never picked up this scent before because it smells so Good. I think I was getting it confused with another scent, so I would always just kind of like skim over in the stores. This is Exotic Bloom. You guys, this smells so good. I have this in another product that I'll talk about in just a second. This has keynotes of freesia, sandalwood, and vanilla. It's just this nice, calming, relaxing, sweet floral scent. This has shea butter, hemp seed, and lavender oil. I'm gonna need this one in a body wash. I hope they come out with more products in this scent. This is another one that my boyfriend ended up picking out. He loves like eucalyptus scents. I do like eucalyptus scents, but not like all the time. But they are nice to use in the shower sometimes, especially if you're trying to like wind down at the end of the night, maybe had like a little stressful day or you're feeling under the weather. That is when I like to use scents like these. So this has keynotes of fresh tea, eucalyptus, and avocado cream. Hmm. I mean, it's just like a very fresh eucalyptus scent. If you don't like eucalyptus, you're probably not gonna like this one because it's a very, very strong, fresh scent. And the last one that I have is one of their newer summer scents, I believe. This is Papaya Paradise. I've been getting more into papaya scents lately. This paired with like Agave Papaya Sunset. I need that one in a body wash because those two together would smell so good. Papaya is like a very sweet scent. Is there like pineapple in here? Oh yeah, so it says made with shea butter, papaya extract, and pineapple enzymes. The keynotes are papaya, sweet coconut, peach, and melon. I can really smell the peach. You know, this actually kind of smells like peach rings. Yeah, I definitely get like more of that peach ring scent. Very like candy-like, very sweet. So those are all of the scrubs that I have. There are a couple more that I would love to have in my collection, but yeah, I'm just gonna have to wait to find them at some point. So the next ones I wanna talk about are the whipped body butters. So these just came out not too long ago. You can find them at Ulta. I love the formula of these body butters. They are so nice. They feel very lightweight on your skin. They're just like this nice fluffy consistency. Doesn't feel too heavy. So I love using them right after my shower before going to bed. Just because it doesn't leave my legs feeling like sticky. I hate that feeling before getting under the sheets. And this does not do that. So I have a couple of them. It's actually a firming whipped body butter in Tropic Glow. Same as the scrub. So this is, I guess, kind of like a dupe for the Boom Boom Cream. I don't know as far as like if it's actually going to help firm your skin but if you like that scent this is a much more affordable option now this one i haven't had a chance to try yet this is another whipped shea body butter and this is in the scent watermelon yeah it smells just like the scrub hopefully you guys will be able to see a little bit more of the consistency like it's just like a very whipped fluffy consistency it kind of reminds me of frosting I like this one and I love the color of it. It's just nice like cotton candy pink shade. And the last one, this is the one I've been using at night just because it smells so good. This is in Exotic Bloom. It's like a nice clean scent. I have a couple of just the regular body butters. This one I actually recently found, I believe it was at Ross. 
or was it TJ Maxx? I've seen them at both actually in Burlington. But you'll probably be able to find this one at any of those stores. I've been seeing it a lot lately. And this is the Marula and Jasmine scent. It smells really good. I do enjoy Jasmine scent. I just picked this one up because it was a scent I had never seen before. And of course, because I've been going crazy with tree cut products. This one I've actually had for a little while now. This is Moroccan Rose. It smells exactly like the scrub. I would say between the two, I enjoy the whipped body butters more than the regular ones. These are like very hydrating, but I just love the texture of the whipped one. So hopefully they come out with more scents of those. Like if they came out with the whipped body butter and brown sugar or any of these like super sweet scents, come on, I would love that. I have a couple of their just regular body lotions. These I actually found online at walmart.com. They had a couple other like Tree Hut sets. Like they had like a Moroccan rose scent and it was only $13 and it came with a few products. If they still have it, I'll link it down below for you guys. These sounded pretty interesting to me. I didn't have these scents, so I wanted to try it out. This one is in Almond Honey. I have been loving honey scents lately. I definitely pick up on like this sweet almond scent. It's just like a very thin consistency. So if you like like very lightweight lotions, I think you might like the formula of these just body lotions. I also have another firming product. This is the firming body lotion. It's in the scent Italian Mocha. So this is more of like that coffee scent. You know, I wasn't crazy about coffee scents like even just a couple weeks ago, but I don't know, there's something about them that I kind of enjoy now. This smells just like the scrub. I know they're two different scents, but this smells exactly like the coffee scrub. Again, I can't really say if it's gonna help like firm your skin. It has the same consistency as the regular body lotion, just like a very like thin formula. I have a couple bath products. This one I found recently at Marshalls for $3.99. I passed this up like a few weeks ago and I didn't see it again for a while. And of course, of course when I can't find something is when I want it the most. I don't know why that always happens. So when I saw this last time, I picked it up real quick because I don't know what it is about mango scents, but I've kind of been getting more into them, especially with like bath products. I do enjoy the scent in the shower. So this is the tropical mango scent. I definitely now want to get the matching scrub to go with it. I really like the formula of the body washes. They have like a really nice lather. I'm really sad that you're only able to find them in these like discount stores. I wish they would come out with more scents. So I don't know if they're like discontinuing these or what. I also have it in the scent coconut lime. I mean, it smells just like the scrub. It smells so good, especially in the shower. I love using these. I definitely would love to find more of them. This is a new product that I picked up recently at Ross. I've seen it at TJ Maxx as well. And this is the Detoxifying Body Cleanser. You know, I wasn't sure if it's gonna be something I would really enjoy. It says it's made with shea butter, charcoal, and ginger extract. I'm not sure exactly how much I'll be using this one. I'm not crazy about the scent, but my boyfriend goes to the gym a lot. So I thought it'd be nice to use, especially after you've been sweating a lot. I think this would be a really good body cleanser to try out. I do have two more Moroccan Rose products. So I got the moisturizing shave oil and I also ended up getting the post shave soothing mist. I still have not had a chance to use the mist yet. The shave oil is actually really nice in the shower. I love using oils to shave with. They do have a couple other scents in the shave oil, which I'm really tempted to get. I need to get through at least half of this before buying another one. My cat's freaking out because he does not like the rain. It's okay, buddy. Aw my dog back there. And the last little product I have to talk about is the Sugar Lips Scrub. I just ended up throwing this in my basket when I was at Ulta. I do like using lip scrubs every now and then, especially now because I've been using a lot more liquid lipsticks. And this smells exactly like the brown sugar scrub. And I believe this is like edible, if I'm not mistaken. I thought I read that online. Don't quote me on that. They did have another one that was like more minty, but of course I love these sweeter scents. So I ended up going with the brown sugar one. And that is it for my entire Tree Hut collection as of now. If you guys enjoyed this video, I'll definitely continue keeping you updated on all the new Tree Hut products that I purchased. But I would definitely like to know what your favorite product is from Tree Hut or like your favorite scent. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below. If you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. Thank you all so, so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.